Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Who oh boy, we have some very interesting news for you today. Let's get started. To kick things off, we're dealing with positive and negative news at the exact same time, and it has to deal with Street Fighter V's atrocious netcode. So if you're not aware, Street Fighter V is notorious for having very, very bad online play. It's not the online players that are bad per se, it is mostly the connection. So Street Fighter V has a very bad rap in terms of its online experience. And even here on Reddit Street Fighter, it says, we voted on this as the number one problem since 2016. Now, Street Fighter isn't the only fighting games to have problems with its netcode, with its online play. However, Street Fighter is arguably the most popular fighting game out there, so it draws extra attention. And with online multiplayer being so popular in gaming here in North America, having bad netcode or a bad online experience really damages Street Fighter V's reputation. And since 2016, the pro players, regular players, the entire community have been expressing their frustration and disappointment with Street Fighter V's netcode to online play, and Capcom has yet to fix the issue. And a person by the name of Altimore has now stepped up and created a fix for Street Fighter V's netcode, but there are a few catches. Altimore's fix for the netcode in Street Fighter V is free and it can be found on the Reddit Street Fighter page. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. But here are the catches. So this is only applicable to Street Fighter V on PC. If you play on PS4, you will be out of luck. And here's the second catch and probably the biggest and most important catch. Street Fighter is a one-on-one -on -one game, right? So you face one other person. If they have the fix and you don't, they don't experience any lag, but you still do because yours is not fixed. Theirs is fixed, but it's not universal for both people. So theirs is fixed on their side where you will have bad, even potentially worse problems considering theirs is fixed. But if both people have this unofficial patch, this fix, then there won't be any issue between either of them. And since this is only available for PC and not PS4 and it is unofficial, then whoever has the patch is going to have the advantage. So if you are playing on PS4, you can't patch your game with this and you will always be at a disadvantage versus someone on PC with this patch. A funny piece of information here, it took the coder two days to make the patch. Just two days without any of the source code for Street Fighter V, a problem that Capcom hasn't been able to fix since 2016. And this is big enough news that I got picked up by Eurogamer, and I will leave a link to this article in the description below because it has the entire history here, including sources to tweets. To download and install this is extremely simple. There's a link right on the website, and then on top of that, the instructions, you basically just have to extract it into your Street Fighter V folder. So if you click the download link, it will bring you to a GitHub page, and then the patch is right here, and it's called Street Fighter V Netcode Fix.zip. So just click that and save it. And to install this is pretty simple. So I'm going to go into my Steam library, Steam Apps, Common, and Street Fighter V. And from there, all I have to do is drag and drop this file in. So open the zip file and it's as easy as a drag and drop. And then it'll say replace files in this destination and you're done. So now I have the patch installed, Street Fighter V is up and running behind me and it has successfully connected to Capcom servers. On top of that, ranked matches work, casual matches work, everything works. But I will say use the patch, if you are using it, use the patch at your own risk. It is an unofficial patch. It's not an officially supported patch by Capcom. On top of that, if you are playing ranked matches with this patch, I would highly recommend turning off cross-platform play because it's not fair to the PS4 users at all because they cannot patch their game as well. But anyways, that's all I've got for today. So if you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.